Is Nusair Yassin known as Nazdaily an Israeli agent? This man, Nusair Yassin, also known as Nazdaily, is under serious criticism. Let me tell you why. I will leave nothing in this video. Hold on to your hearts. Nusair Yassin is an Israeli national who converted to Islam just a few months ago. It's a reality he seems to be hiding for his own agenda. He appears to propagate some Islamic values publicly, but there's more beneath the surface. Most of his friends are Israeli and American non-Muslims. Quite funny, right? Does he think we are blind? No. He has never revealed which religion he followed before accepting Islam. He sometimes claims to be a born Muslim, while in other videos he says he reverted from Islam and then became a practicing Muslim again. He was born in Nazareth, Israel, occupied Palestine, on February 9, 1992. He completed his bachelor's degree in economics from Harvard University and became popular as a vlogger. People who met him in the US say he has a non-Islamic faith and consider him a hypocrite. He drinks alcohol at parties and has open relationships with many Israeli and American girls. This double-faced man, Nas Daly, who claims Palestinian heritage, tweeted something quite astonishing. I am Israeli first, then Palestinian. Oh, my days. This is the same guy who makes videos that get millions of views, videos that whitewash Israel's crimes. And guess what? He is so beloved by the Zionist elite that the famous Israeli lobby group ADL gave him an award to appreciate everything he's done for them. This individual had the gall to make a video about Islam. Despite being such a hypocrite, a sellout, an absolute piece of work, I was curious to see what he could possibly be teaching people about Islam. So, let's have a look together. I spent one full month studying my religion, Islam. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, hold your horses. He spent an entire month, that's what he said. Yeah, learning my religion. For the first time in my life, I shaved my head completely. Just to make a point. Okay, this was a bit random. But why would you shave your head to make a point? Especially if you say this to a Muslim, they'd think, huh? We shave our heads after pilgrimage because it was an act of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and we replicate this act. Also, the intention must be correct for it to be accepted by God, not just doing it to make a point. But this religion, I did not learn from a sheikh. I learned Islam from my mother. He's gone to the scholars of other religions because he's covered those religions as well. But when it comes to Islam, forget about it. He's going to his mum, but I know what you're thinking. Is she a scholar? No, she's not a scholar. Has she studied anywhere? No, she hasn't. She just prays a lot, according to him. Let's see what she's been teaching him. Where do you get this from? I've scoured the Quran, the Hadith, even the religious books of other religions. Couldn't find this quote anywhere. Can we get a reference? No, we didn't. So, if this is your source, frankly, I'm worried about what's coming up next. There it is. This is where Islam started. In a cave that looks something like this. Yeah, my worry is justified. No, Islam did not start 1,400 years ago. Islam started from the beginning, from Adam, Prophet Adam. We don't believe that the Prophet Muhammad was the first Muslim. I went to a non-Muslim secondary school and we had a subject called RE, religious education. This was something in the books of the non-Muslims and we had to correct them. What? Islam was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by an angel while he was sitting in the cave. Ah, this is just getting embarrassing now. Islam wasn't revealed in the cave, the Quran was revealed. You ask a four-year-old this, mate, and after he's finished taking the crayon out of his nose, he's gonna school you on this better than your relatives around you. And so, I read about Islam, and the first thing I learned is discipline. Again, boy, you ask any person who accepts Islam. The most fundamental thing they're taught is monotheism, the oneness of God. This is what separates Islam from other major religions, and it is an integral point. Yet he keeps going on about discipline. Okay, discipline is important, but it goes alongside devotion. Every day, every morning for 30 years, I saw my mother wake up at 5 a.m. Don't exaggerate, mate. Are you telling me you've never traveled in your life and stayed in one place for more than a day? Why exaggerate? Before every prayer, Muslims have to be clean by washing their feet. No, not just clean, but in a state of purity. 
If your state of purity is broken, you renew it with ablution, wudu. You don't have to perform ablution before every single prayer for it to be accepted. According to Prophet Muhammad, cleanliness is half the faith. It's very strange that he mentioned several ahadith of the Prophet, and not once did he say, even if he didn't say, he could say, peace be upon him. As Muslims, we are taught from the beginning that when we say the name of the Prophet, we send salutations upon him as well. Did you memorize every single word? I didn't, but my wife did and all of her family members and all of her friends, 100%. This was just embarrassing. He's making a big point about the memorization of the Quran. Couldn't he at least speak to one Hafiz, someone who has memorized the Quran? But no, he says his wife and her whole family have. Why can't he ask to interview one member from her family? If my mom can pray every day for 30 years, five times a day, and commit to fasting and cleanliness, then I can make a one-minute video and go to the gym. Did he really make this comparison? Is he okay? If his mom has been praying for 30 years, surely he can start to pray now. How was the first thing he said? Yeah, my one-minute videos. Oman, you're lying. She's the best Muslim I know. She doesn't hate anybody. She loves her religion. She loves other religions. It's incredible. How can you love every religion? No, you can be tolerant of other religions. You can be accepting of adherence of other religions. But you don't have to love other religions. Islamically, we believe in monotheism. We believe the greatest sin is associating partners with God. So how can I say I love the concept of someone associating partners with God? It doesn't make any sense. And I don't think he's a good judge of who the best Muslim is. I think we have better candidates than someone who allows her son to publicly stab Palestinians in the back and wrongly preach his religion while teaching him false things. There is no difference between anybody here. Yes, there is. He's bald, he's got a grey beard, and you don't. He's trying to push forward a certain narrative, which is the theme of his videos. No, 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 we're all the same, mate. We should love each other, mate. You see him stabbing and hurting those other folks? Nah, you love both of them. That's what you do. No, what we're taught is that there are differences. Be okay with that. Even in the Eastern traditions, they teach you that things happen. It's just the way life is. So in Islam, we're told there are differences and it's okay to have differences. Enmity, that's the bad thing. Can anybody tell him that merely saying you're a Muslim doesn't make it true? Your inner self doesn't testify to this statement. Tell him that having a beard, reciting some verses, and visiting holy places don't prove that you're a Muslim. Tell him that he just wants popularity, and if he has the courage, he should tell people that he's not a Muslim. Tell him that we Muslims know him well and are aware of his secret agenda. First, he presented himself as neutral, and then he claimed to be a Muslim. No, 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 it won't work. Soon it will be revealed who he truly is and who is behind him. Boy, you don't need to thank me right now for teaching you what you said. I don't mind tutoring you and the folks around you. Just message me to arrange a time. Hopefully, in the interim, this video suffices. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time.